Welcome to episode 4 of Baseball Bears Lunch and Learn series, 2024 Rule Changes. Thank you for taking the time to learn more and thank you for being a champion in your community for baseball. The sport volunteer is the most important person in the Canadian sport delivery system and we are here to support you in these endeavors. Also thank you for providing feedback for episode 3. We hear you. The time you take to provide this feedback will enhance our delivery in the future. And special thanks to Liam Fremont, our media person in the Baseball Board office for your guidance and leadership with this project. Today we have Chris Krushnernik, League Manager for Baseball Alberta, and Curtis Millar, Vice President North for Baseball Alberta and Chair of the Technical Committee. Thank you for taking time of your chaotic schedule for being here today with the start of the season. The structure for the Lunch and Learn is 15 to 20 minutes of content and then question and answer. Please provide your questions in the chat and I will get to those when we are done with the content. To respect everyone's time, we will keep the Lunch and Learn to the schedule. However, if you have questions afterwards that come up, please reach out to me by email. Uh, The session is always going to be recorded and available on our YouTube channel and podcast channel via our website for viewing and listening later. Let's get into it. Before we start with the specific rule changes for 2024, I would like to highlight the rule change process. Rule changes are brought to the attention of the Baseball Alberta office through communication from zone directors, the Baseball Alberta Annual Summit, and the Baseball Alberta Umpire Committee, as well as Baseball Canada National Conference and meetings. This review process occurs during the fall of the technical committee's meetings. During these meetings, the committee deliberates on proposed changes and formulas recommendations for the board. After the recommendations are presented to the board in January and March for further consideration and approval, the Baseball Board board will approve those changes. If any member of Baseball Board wishes to propose a rule change, they should reach out to their zone director. The Baseball Board office staff collects these requests and forwards them to the Technical Committee Chairperson for review. The Technical Committee of Baseball Alberta consists of Baseball Alberta members who are not part of the Baseball Alberta Board, along with two Baseball Alberta staff members and the umpire representative. The committee is chaired by a member of the Baseball Alberta Executive Committee. In this case, right now, currently, it's Curtis Millar, Vice President North. Uh, As always, your best updated resource for all Baseball Alberta rules is the Virtual Baseball Alberta Handbook, which is accessed through our website. You can access it on the homepage of Virtual Handbook, or you can access it through resources. So when you go to the Virtual Handbook, you go to New Rules and Regulations for 2024. Uh, Due to technical difficulties in our recording, this is a voiceover by myself. However, Chris and Curtis were both present during the live session. So, new rules and regulations for 2024. We have made changes to the umpire fees. Uh, This will also be available in the OFM handbook, uh, but there's going to be little slight increases in, in regards to the game fees for umpires. Uh, that was voted in um, for the 50 new and 18 new categories. 50 new have been increased to $60, and the 18 new fees have been increased to $65. Uh, and the 18 new bail 2022 U and uh, senior league game fees have been increased to $70 per game. 11 new and 13 new age categories categories will remain the same as in previous years. 11 new pitch counts over four days are changing. Pitch count rules are updated. A maximum number of four, a maximum number of pitches for over four days have been added for each age category as outlined below. So if you look on the page, 11 new, it's new, it's 115 pitches. For further information on pitch count, I would strongly advise anyone with questions to view episode one. Um, of the Lunch and Learn series where we jumped into uh, and had in-depth questions regarding pitch counts. 18UA rule updates. 18UA mercy rule is in effect. Uh, 10 run differential when the losing team has completed their fifth offensive inning at bat. Uh, 18U inning run limit rule. A maximum seven run half inning rule. Once the seventh run of an inning is scored, the inning automatically stops no matter how many outs there are and the half inning is over. 
That is for 18UA. Uh, 13U AA Unlimited Substitution Rule. Starting in 2024, the Unlimited Substitution Rule in 13U AA all tiers will be extended to include Round 1, Round 2, and now including Round 3 and Provincial Championships. This rule has been uh, changed due to the fact that our membership was saying 13U AA is about development and we need to uh, maintain the substitution, unlimited substitution rule across the entire season. Provincial Championship tiebreak game removal. The following change will impact these categories at Provincial Championships. Please note these categories. All A levels, 11U AA all tiers, 13U, 15U, and 18U AA tier 2 and above. Uh, below. These specific categories prevent, uh, you know, uh, provincial champions will no longer have tiebreak tie games on the schedule and it said solely rely on the tiebreaker rules to settle ties amongst teams in the standings. All AAA and 13U, 15U and 18U AA Tier 1 Provincial Champions will continue to schedule tiebreak games if needed. The Baseball Alberta tiebreak guidelines will remain the same as previous seasons. The reason for these changes is the incurred costs and resources and impact on host societies for those uh, lower level tiers that don't move on to a national championship or a Western Canada uh, championship. Uh, the board felt that, that, that moving on to those uh, significant events required the additional day and tiebreak games. All other provincial championships will no longer have those additional games but the tiebreaker guidelines will um, um, uh, be applied. So uh, all the tiebreaker guidelines are on the uh, 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 Baseball Bar website as well as the tool to find out those results. Game time limit changes. Starting 2024, game time limits will be as followed. All A age categories, league play, and provincial championships will be 2 hours and 15 minutes. 13U, 15U, and 18U AA Tier 2 um, and below, 2 hours and 15 minutes. 13U, 15U, and 18U AA Tier 1 league play and provincial championships. All rounds of league play, 2 hours and 15 minutes. Provincial championships, no game time limit. Senior 2022U, Bale and AAA, no game time limit. These game, these game time limit changes were carefully considered um, due to the fact that we're always in high competition for umpires um, and, uh, uh, and other uh, hosting requirements. We felt the the board felt it was imperative that we maintain competitiveness and maintain that, that attractiveness to to host and umpire a, a games. Uh, pace of play rules also. Pace of play rules. Enforcement of ninety seconds between innings during baseball Alberta elite league and U and eighteen U triple A league games only. So the between inning clock will be set at ninety seconds. The umpire will keep time with a stopwatch. The clock will be in effect for the entire game, including any extra innings. It will be activated once the last out of the inning has been recorded. The pitcher must complete and may not exceed eight warm-up pitches within the time. The catcher will be instructed to throw to second base with 30 seconds left on the clock. The batter must be entering the batter's box as time expires or when instructed by the home plate umpire. The umpire will use discretion when the catcher or pitcher is a runner or batter hitter when the half inning ends. A called ball will be awarded to the hitter by the umpire should a hitter be ready in the batter's box with the pitcher being deemed unready on the mound for play to begin as time expires. 
A called strike will be awarded to the pitcher by the umpire should a pitcher be ready on the mound with the hitter being deemed unready and not in the batter's box as time expires. Also, for pace of play, courtesy runner for catcher and or pitcher during Baseball Alberta Elite League and 18 new AAA league games only. A courtesy runner will be permitted to replace the catcher and or pitcher on any base provided there are two outs in the inning. The catcher and pitcher will be defined as the players who finished the previous defensive innings in those positions. A courtesy runner must be a player from the bench who has not entered the official lineup for their team. If a team no longer has any players on the bench who are eligible, they will not be permitted a courtesy runner. A player may be a courtesy runner multiple times in the same game provided they have not entered the official lineup in any offensive uh, or defensive position. This would include a pinch hitter or a pinch runner that is different than a courtesy runner. Also, exceeding pitch count thresholds in AAA, AAA only. This rule apply to the Bale 18 u AAA regular season and provincial championships, 13 u AAA provincial championships, and 15 u AAA provincial championships only. When a pitcher reaches the maximum number of pitches allowed for a threshold, they can complete the earlier of the end of the at-bat or the end of the inning without penalty on days of rest, as long as she or he does not pitch to another hitter. The number of pitches corresponding to the threshold reach will be indicated on the pitching log. The coach or manager needs to acknowledge this to the umpire at the moment prior to the next pitch. The umpire will notify the scorekeeper of the threshold. This is an important change. Yelling and or swearing at an umpire rule expansion to the 15U, 18U categories. Any umpire report which is submitted for 11U, 13U, or 15U games which include any mention of confrontation between a coach and an umpire and includes mention of a coach yelling or swearing at an umpire will result in an automatic one-game suspension of the coach. Any additional similar incidents involving the same coach could result in longer suspensions. Any umpire report which is submitted for 18 new games which include any mention of verbal abuse which could include swearing are subject to a minimum one-game suspension of the coach. Any additional similar incidents involving the same coach could result in longer suspensions. Standardized suspensions for ejections at Provincial Championship. Baseball Bird is committed to ensuring that the experience at Provincial Championships is a positive one for players, coaches, officials, and volunteers. The Baseball Bird Technical Committee has been tasked with introducing a standardized suspension for ejections at Provincial Championships that will work in unison with the upcoming Baseball Bird Code of Conduct being produced. Baseball Bird will pr update this section of the handbook with the official information as soon as it is approved by the Baseball Alberta Board of Directors. We are looking at this suspensions to uh, standard up suspensions to reduce the stress on host committees for provincial championships. Affiliate player regulations. Each AAA team may draw affiliates from their own associations. This would include A, AA, or AAA, uh, including lower age categories, or from A, AA, and or lower addict age categories within a 75 kilometer radius of your association. This change was was permitted to uh, allow and expose players to the AAA level. That concludes the, the 2024 rule changes. During the session we had two questions. The questions were number one for the courtesy runner pace of play rule uh, for uh, Baseball Alberta Elite League and 18 new AAA league games. W does this only apply when there are two outs? Yes, this is only when there are two outs in the inning and the runner has to be a bench player. It cannot be an active player. The second question was an excellent question as well. This was, why are all these changes, for example, exceeding pitch counts, and the other and the pace of play rules only apply to AAA. 
and the reason is, is that we like to expand it to all leagues however we need to uh, work with the umpire committee and at the AAA level that is where our best infrastructure and um, knowledge is based when it comes to the officials if they're uh, the the officials feel that the officials could handle the extra um, requirements or uh, rules at the lower age out levels they would we would extend that so we're going to look at it this year see if the, the, the what the umpires and officials feel um, and possibly expand those two rules into the rest of our baseball world leagues again i would like to thank liam Fremont in our office chris krushernik league manager and curtis Mollar for joining us today um, next episode in in may 2024 will be insurance 101 this will uh, be an information session for everything insurance and being a baseball bird member uh, thank you very much for your attendance and have a great day